That's a good question, and that's what's on everybody's mind right now. Um, it's a very fluid situation, but what Putin has done uh, today is basically lay the political groundwork uh, to move further militarily into Ukraine if he so chooses. So the recognition yesterday of the independence of the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, that's at the stage for Russian military deployments there. Now the question is whether he'll go further, and that's what Ukraine and the West are preparing for. At this point, um, the European Union, along with the US, are preparing sanctions packages that should be announced any minute now um, as a deterrent to further military action uh, by Russia in Ukraine. But it's unclear and perhaps even unlikely that that will be enough to stop uh, Putin from making that move. So. At this point, the diplomatic realm is still open, but we're very quickly moving into the military realm. Well, Putin faces a lot of constraints in moving to Western Ukraine and even to the capital of Kiev, I would say, because politically speaking, uh, there's little to no support for Russian military action, unlike in more friendly territories like Crimea or in Eastern Ukraine. Uh, but Putin may have already made the calculation that the costs which would come with sanctions from the West, but also military resistance from Ukraine are worth it. But I, I think at this point, it's still an extreme and perhaps not likely scenario that he'll go to Western Ukraine. I think Putin has signaled that he will not be affected or deterred by Western sanctions. He even made the comment that no matter what Russia does, sanctions will exist. So I think that they're not a very strong deterrent. Having said that, I think in, in the, the event of extreme sanctions, such as uh, cut off from the SWIFT uh, system, for example, or even uh, export controls of technology products, which I believe Biden could be announcing quite soon, this could give Putin more pause because it would have a really significant impact on the Russian economy. But so far, at least until now, Putin has been willing to basically weather sanctions in, in, uh, for geopolitical goals. There, is, there are similarities for sure, um, and I would say that Russia has a, a pattern that it has exhibited uh, going back to Georgia in 2008, but also Crimea in 2014 and eastern Ukraine, which is that it typically is willing to use military action in areas that are not going to be very resistant. For example, in Georgia, it was in South Ossetia and Abkhazia, but military options in Georgia proper were quite limited. But now the question is, has that paradigm been broken? And I think if we see Putin go beyond the Donetsk and Luhansk uh, People's Republics, that will show that he um, has basically entered into a new territory even beyond what we've seen in Georgia and 2014 in Crimea. I would say that Putin is trying to achieve Russia's geopolitical imperatives um, and using military purposes in order to do that. Um, it, Certainly, the actions are quite aggressive and they can in, in involve military action, but I don't think the ultimate goal is to invade all of Europe or even necessarily all of Ukraine. But Putin has made it clear that Russia feels that Ukraine is a threat to its security and that it, all options are on the table at this point.